everyone, I'm Julia Willingham and I work with Catoosa County Extension. And today we're going to be talking about green June beetles on the bug plug. Here's a short video just for you, all about bugs and what they do with Julia. So today we're going to be talking about green June beetles. This is one of many bugs that are referred to as June bugs. So there are three main beetles in our area that people refer to as June bugs or sometimes even May bugs. This is the chafer beetle, the green June beetle, as well as the Japanese beetle. Japanese beetles tend to have a green thorax as well as having copper colored elytra and then have white tufts of hair around um, their abdomen. All of these bugs tend to emerge as an adult and fly around around late June and into July and August. All of these beetles are chafer beetles, which is a description of how they eat. The green June beetle can sometimes be confused with the Japanese beetle in appearance. The green June bug, however, is much, much larger. It's typically kind of a dull metallic green color and it has a bronze or gold stripe on the margins of its elytra, which is its hardened wings. So the adult green June beetle tends to be about one inch long, so they're pretty big beetles in our area. They tend to start flying around at the end of late June. Also, something that's very common is to see the grubs of the green June beetle as well as Japanese beetle. Green June beetles are native to our area and they can span from Georgia all the way to the Midwest and up to Connecticut. So green June beetle bugs are different from other grubs in our area because they have a weird tendency to crawl on their back with their legs in the air. So this is very different from other grubs in the area and can help identify a green June beetle grub from other grubs. However, these white grubs are typically in the soil. They eat on root and decaying matter, just like Japanese beetles and other white grubs. Also, when these grubs get scared, they form into a C shape, um, which is typical of um, the scarabid beetle family. Green June beetles um, tend to have one generation per year and they overwinter as larvae in the soil. As it warms up in the spring, they'll start to pupate and then they will emerge as adults for our summers. So the adult green June beetle will emerge. Again, it's a larger, bulkier beetle. Um, they, are, um, they have chewing mouth parts and the adults can sometimes um, be pests in gardens um, because they mainly eat on fruit or de decaying fruit. So if you have um, figs, apples, grapes, those are often sometimes um, the fruits that those green June beetles will go for. Um, a pattern that you might see is females tend to hover over grass areas while they're flying and that is because they're looking for a place to dig a little bit into the soil and lay their eggs. One notable characteristic of green June beetles adults feeding is that they're chafer feeders. They can often sometimes make irregular shape holes in fruit and also can skeletonize leaves. Green June beetles do typically have a chewing mouth part. However, if you do pick one up, that mouth part isn't um, very capable at biting humans. Um, also, their um, legs are a little bit spiky. However, this is a fun beetle if you do want to pick it up to pick up. June is almost here, so keep an eye out for one of these June bugs, so the green June beetle. We'll catch you next time on The Bug Plug.